we took this trip on a very sunny Sunday. Well, at least for now. aircraft is not available early in the morning, so we're having a late start at noon. Sonara 7 Tango, turn left direct, pull wonky, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Turn left direct, pull wonky, runway 21, clear for takeoff, Sonara 7 Tango. Now that to my discretion, I'm going to go. It's such a clear day, we can easily spot our local landmark, the state capitol, at the center of the isthmus. We're parking at the signature FBO because it's an easy taxi. They're apparently busy today.
After a satisfying late lunch in Boystown neighborhood, we headed downtown. The Midwest's only Uniqlo has a pretty nice lounge area on its top floor, and with a Starbucks. We spent some time there playing with Osmo Mobile. Mr. Five One Nine Seventeen, the executive ground, runway one six, taxi via Kilo, winds have died down, cross one zero seven zero at five. Sorry, uh, taxi to runway one six via Kilo, nine seven Tango. Tower, so five one nine seven seven holding short on runway one six to the northwest. Five one nine seven seven executive tower, major lane runway one six to the south, turn left to the north. Delay runway one six to the south, turn left north. Six five nine seven seven. Visibility is pretty good. We can still see the Chicago skyline from here. A citation passes us over from above at least 500 to 600 feet away. Feels pretty close though. Along our route, there are many small lakes. On one bright summer day, you can see many boats crisscrossing on the lakes. It's quite a scene from above. As the sun sets quickly, the clouds in front seem darker and darker. New weather briefing indicates thunderstorm and cumulonimbus close to our destination. We decided to divert. Better safe than sorry. The FBO office is closed. Luckily, a local pilot helped us get in. Otherwise, we just have to wait out the storm inside the plane. By the time we get updated weather information, most storm cells have dissipated. If we continue at that time, we would be caught right in the middle of the storm clouds. While we wait, I flipped through a book in the lounge area. List of top 100 events of the last millennium by the Life magazine. Believe it or not, this book, which is in very good shape, was published almost 20 years ago. The Life magazine is not even around anymore. Well, B 
before we head home, my pilot needs to get night current. When we get back to Madison Airport, the tower just closed. The traffic is still very busy, though. In order to give way to a commercial jet who did not make his first announcement until at six mile final, we had to go around just to help them out a little bit with the fuel cost. When we finally made it to the ground, it's close to midnight. We're so ready to call it a day. But we'll be back with another trip. <laughs>